Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Dragon Dogma 2 mods. Got some more sexy armor mods to show you. For some reason my camera is a bit wonky at the moment. I don't know why what's happening, but hey, because of a weird effect. But yeah, under boob. <laughs> She's looking down at you. She's looking down at you. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Kant Games. If you don't already know that, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Dragon Dogma 2 mod reviews with my big sexy ladies. <laughs> so, this mod saw what? <laughs> Anyways, hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. I've been doing great. Uh, you might notice that I would be a change of like clothing is, is because this video has been rec the intro has been recorded a day after I recorded this when it was uh, quite warm here in England. So that's why I wasn't wearing my dressing gown like usually. Hey, 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 I don't ask for your life story. We're checking out some more sexy dogma, Dragon Dogma 2 armors today. And in the next one after that, we'll be going more into like skills and, and people's own magic abilities and stuff like that, you know, with skill maker mods. What's this do then? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> it's just fired out with that. Okay, alright. So, I don't know how my game's gonna handle it because of all the mods I have installed, but we'll see how it goes. But, hope you guys stick around and enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, course, and subscribe and leave for some pins in the comments. All helps out YouTube and the algorithm, of course. And check out the modders for themselves. Anyways. Let's get on with today's video. All right, first mod up for today, uh, we have got is some armor mods. Yeah, first one is of course uh, uh, the Ver dot R armor mod. Uh, when you install this mod, uh, you will want to have of course the part fix, uh, missing parts fixed, the mesh enabler as well, so it all works. And when you do install this game, when you go onto it, make sure you. Uh, enable the fresher set high heel patch and then you can choose whichever one i went with the version b and i'll show you a clip now of me just talking about it and what i think is pretty nice about it so this mod no sort of worked <laughs> right so let's have a look at this armor this is the um trashy uh, trasher set version r uh it replaces the uh fiendish armor the thrashers uh, core and the execution sleeves. <laughs> Only for the female, because my male was actually wearing them as well. But of course, he doesn't change that. But yeah, this is what it does. It gives them some really nice heels. I think it's really nice. The belts look great on it. Uh, chest, well, it's going to be a bit weird because of the size of mine, my character's chest. Damn that under boob. <laughs> Damn that under boob. Yeah, that's really nice looking. That's basically that armor. I think it's really cool. Um, overall, it's great. It doesn't affect the men's, uh, but I would say you have to disable if you're using like the Berserker mod or anything that uses uh, basically these help these items that are on the description. Uh, you're gonna have to disable them. Fluffy mod manager will tell you if it's you know if it's going to <clears throat> interrupt or corrupt or like change the file of what's already been activated. As it says it will say there. So you got that, so just keep that in mind. The next mod uh, we, we are looking at today was the other version by the same creator called the Count uh, the Country set, I think it is. And yeah, it looks like a sexy ass jester, basically. <laughs> uh, when it comes to installing this version, you have, you're have you gonna have to go on to the uh, thing itself, of course. When you're on it, press, uh, press the top one, base files, then choose the ones you want. There's loads of different uh, choices you can choose from. So just take your pick and that, um, it'll tell you which ones that will work with it and which ones won't. So you, you won't be messing things up if you follow it and do it slowly. But yeah, let's have a look at this armor. I'll show you, it literally, it, it looks, it, I like it, but I don't know. It just, it's some, it looks something more like if you're into clowns or something like that to me. You have a nice ass. But it's still, it's very nice and that. And this person also is one that made the bikini inner mod where it changes the out underwear to like bikini stuff. So you can tell this person knows this stuff. And I like how he's just, he hasn't made anything new. He's just adapted the old armor to make it look, well, sort of like how, Z you remember the Xena warriors? Yeah, sort of like that. Come here you, Xena needs Zex. I've got a naughty idea. 
I'm going to combine them two mods. Well, just the ones that I think look nice and which ones don't. Damn, they jiggle. <laughs> really jiggle, don't they? <laughs> yeah. I think I had a feeling that would look really nice, actually. Often I find myself wondering how I fared as a fighter. I love it. But what was it to see? <laughs> <laughs> These writings could be of import. Oh my god. Alright, next up on the mods for today, we have two weapon mods that are actually one, but you get both of them and you can choose which ones you want. Uh, the first one up is a sword, so I had to disable my Berserker Dragon Slayer weapon, of course. Uh, the Lilum Otachi DB. Basically, it's the weapon from Near Automata, as I say in the video. Um, love the detail on it. Person looks really good, and I think whenever that 2B mod works properly, I'll probably try it out and see if you can make a 2B from Nero in that game. It looks lovely. Um, what comes with it also, you're going to have to separate the files for them to work, so you've got to separate them. It's the longbow, and <laughs> it looks amazing. I'll show you like a clip now of basically me testing out both the weapons when I'm fighting things. Uh, it looks great. I really like it. So, top notch. Alright. Next thing we're looking at. The next thing we are looking at is this sword and longbow. We've got the uh, sword here, and I think it's designed after the one from Near Automata. 2B and all that. I think it is, anyways. Looking at it, it does. I love the detail on it. I think it looks amazing. Yeah, I do believe it is uh, the weapons that 2B and 9S use. It's a lovely sword. I love it. It's just a giant katana. There's that. And then we have the longbow. My god. <laughs> it's a longbow, of course. It is a longbow. Jesus, look at that thing. Yeah, we're going to see what they're like. Let's go. I wonder if the dragon's going to spawn. I hope so. Please, dragon. You're going to spawn? Hmm. Uh, guess we'll find someone else then to kill. See, oh look, there yeah, we got an ogre. Let's go kill an ogre. Even though I kept calling them trolls in the beginning of the game. Yeah, so this is the bow. I think it looks amazing. Oh, we get to see Xylon that running now with a butt out. Well, wherever she is. Hey, ugly. What do you think about my bow? Alright, try the sword out. Yeah! Oh, okay, that's really nice. There she is, and here comes butt. Here comes big butt. Damn, she looks nice actually. I like the car I went with for her. Ow! Get low. Go away! Man, screw you. Yeah, I'm happy with the look. And the sword feels great. And okay, I do love Gus's giant thing, but I'm not always going to constantly wear that armor, as you can see. Oh, I've got to do it. Go on and go action time. Goat simulator. <laughs> Why would you do that? I guess this is the end. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, yeah, this happens a lot. They, so many of them spawn, and it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's watch this. Watch them all just scatter. There's <laughs> so many of them. Uh, modded games, I swear. There's something, there's something special about them. Look at this. Swing up. Overkill. Yeah, that's how many there are. There's like 20 of them. Just stick, stick around that campfire now. And it's, they're always there. Yeah, I think it's a griffin. I don't see the chimera. It's normally there. Oh well. Just new. I like, there it is. I see the, I see the chimera. Hello, kitty. I love you just spam the magic arrow, uh, magic archer, Billy. <laughs> so OP. So I'm just riding it. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Oh, oh, I just realized it's a blood, it's a blood first one. 
Shit. I just realised that. Come here. Ah, oh, I do love that. Love me a good ass. <laughs> Okay, that was today's video. Let me know which one was your favourite and what you think about the good underboot. <laughs> I really enjoyed making this one. I really love the armors and that. I'm looking forward to more stuff, of course. Um, I'm not really running out of like mods at the moment because there's still loads on there. It's just the uninstalling one mod to have a look at it and test out, then to have to uninstall that one to use this, uh, use another new one. It's a bit like that. But I hope you enjoyed the course. Don't forget to leave a like and leave thoughts, pins in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao for now.